Today, we're in the city that everyone told us we should visit, Nijmegen. I'm sorry, that was really strange. Nijmegen is actually the oldest city in the Netherlands, so we're going to be exploring some architecture that dates all the way back to the 1400s, eating some new Dutch snacks and petting cats. A lot of cats. Before we head to our first stop, I wanted to mention that we have an exciting announcement, so be sure to hang around till the end of the video. Okay, let's get coffee. Our first stop is Geisha Coffee Bar, which is a specialty coffee house that's right along the banks of the Vol. And they also serve breakfast and lunch, but we've got other plans for lunch. We got an empanada. Nijmegen is located on the eastern side of the country, right along the German border. It's about a 90 minute train from Amsterdam and two hours from Rotterdam. We think that it's going to be another great city that you should take some time to visit, especially if you want to get outside of the touristy areas of the city. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like trying to be like, no, the bike. <laughs> It is really cold today. I walked outside expecting it to be a certain temperature and I was very wrong. Yeah, we're about 10 degrees off, I think. At least you're wearing a warm coat. Yeah. I'm not. When I was researching things to do in Nijmegen, I found this thing called the Walk of Town. So basically, if you find yourself at any of the big destinations, all you need to do is look down and you'll see this green line we're not in the right spot. <laughs> You'll see this green line that you can basically follow throughout the whole city and it makes two big loops around the city center and it'll take you to all of the different destinations. And that leads us to our first stop, Arsenal 1824. It's time for high tea. This is something that I've been wanting to try for a while. I've noticed when we go to some of the nicer restaurants in Rotterdam, they always have it on the menu, but we haven't tried it yet, so let's give it a go. I did look up what makes high tea different in the Netherlands versus the UK, and I think it's actually like, in the Netherlands, it's a whole meal. And in the UK, high tea is more of a snack to hold you over until the next meal. Onion soup. The food's here, and this is a lot of food. There's fried egg, carpaccio, and smoked salmon. And then we got all of these little, like, stuffed breads. Well, well let's leave it on that. Let's try the carpaccio. Ooh, it's on, like, a very dark brown bread. That means it's healthy, right? Mm. Oh yeah, the beef is super tender and the bread is really, really fresh. It's time to get into this egg. Look how jiggly it is. I can take the bread. And mix it up. And mix it up, get a little yolk on it. It doesn't look that great on camera, but it's gonna be delicious. Mm. I got yolk all over my face. It's, it's yeah, it's egg, arugula, soft white bread. It's tasty. I think you got the more interesting one though. All right, let's play a game. We both hate macarons. Macaron, macarons. Macarons. We both hate macarons. So let's guess, what flavor do you think these are? What do you think this one is? Raspberry. Ras Alex thinks this is raspberry. I think this is gonna be rose. And what do you think this one is? Citron. I think this is gonna be, yeah, I think it's gonna be citron. Okay. Lemoncello. Lemoncello, all right. Raspberry. It's 
the tron great This building was built between 1820 and 1824 on the foundation of an old monastery and was originally used after that to hold the city's arsenal of weapons. Which building? Arsenal 1824. Oh. This chapel, the hmm, Marienburg Chapel, was built in the 1400s. That's really old. It also used to be an old monastery and Actually, if you come over here, you can get a really cool shot of it on this like super modern luxe building. We made our way to St. Stephen's Church, which is the oldest church in Nijmegen. Also, it was severely damaged in the bombings in 1944, but completely rebuilt in 1969. Look how little it is! Isn't this so cute? This is St. Jacob's Chapel, and it was built in the 1500s, and since then I think it's been used as like an orphanage, a school, and a cow shed, and now you can get married here. You want to get married here? And all that exploring leads us to the cats. So Cat Cafe Balthazar, the cats here are permanent residents, so they're not up for adoption. Hopefully they're quite cuddly. You can also grab a snack here and I've heard that their mocktails are really, really good. So let's pet some cats. Let's grab something to eat before we head home. So we got a couple of delicious things. One, y'all have been recommending us try for a really long time. And the other is like an old classic. Ooh, they look really good. Is that the guy who made it for you? <laughs> yeah, that was him using their frying all this Italian shit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I think our sauce is gonna be controversial. We've had all the sauces now. I just want something different. I'm going to try them naked first. What? I'm gonna try them without a sauce first. Uh oh. Naked. Okay. It's got a good bite on the outside. This is the softest fry. The softest inside of a fry. This is, why are you ever. reviewing fries? Oh, good. <laughs> Sweet chili sauce. Yeah, baby. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. <laughs> It's still really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. You get that salty sweet thing going on. Yep. Time for what is arguably one of the most requested things that we should try. I don't think it's arguably. On the Buncharted channel. Yeah. The day has finally come. How am I gonna eat this? The freaking doll special. How am I supposed to eat this? Naked. <laughs> Take off your shirt. We're gonna get ribbed for this. You're probably supposed to have a fork or something. Mm hmm. It's good. Yeah. How are we supposed to eat this? I mean, like this. Raw dog it? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, because it's a hot dog. I'm not a huge fan of Frickendal. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Frickendal. This one's pretty good. Are you a fan of Rog Dog in it? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> Whoa! Is that good? That's really good. Mmm. Yeah. 
Thanks, y'all. Once again, your recommendations have not disappointed us. Ooh, that was tasty. <laughs> that was really All right. Good. There's one last thing before we wrap up today. It's our special announcement. So stick around. It's coming soon. We just have to find a spot to do it. <laughs> so if you watched our Leiden video, you heard that Michelle made a joke about how we are going to visit every city in the Netherlands. We got to talking afterwards. That seems a little aggressive, but what if we visited at least one city in every province in the Netherlands in 2023? We've already been to North Holland, South Holland, North Brabant, Limburg, and now Gelderland, which is where we're at right now in Nimigen, Nijmegen. I've literally screwed that up in every <laughs> single take that we've done it's of so this. Hard to say it's so hard to say. Do it the wrong way. With this one city in every province thing in mind, what city should we be prioritizing? Where should we go next? Let us know in the comments below. So that's our big announcement and the end of our time here in Nime again. We had a great day. Yes, we did. It was a lot of fun. The area by the, whoa. Yeah, the area by the water was really cool. That labyrinth thing was really neat. Yeah, that was very fun and unexpected. And the city itself, another beautiful city here in the Netherlands. A lot of great food, probably the best snack bar food we've ever had. Yes, 100%. Yeah, and the uh, the tea thing, the high tea thing, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I like how they kind of repurposed a lot of the older buildings into like usable spaces and yeah. they're not necessarily just to look at. Yeah, I think that is going to wrap up our time here in Nime again, officially. Yep, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.